There was a young orphan boy and he had a meadow that was left to him and he wanted to build a wall around his meadow. And so he comes upon an area where there's a palm tree that belongs to his neighbor. So in order to build around that palm tree, his wall would not become straight and therefore it would become weak. So he asked his neighbor to give the, the palm tree to him so he can include it in his territory and build the wall around it. So his neighbor refused. So he tells him, you have many other palm trees and this one won't hurt you. So just give it to me so my wall can be straight and the man refused. And so the young boy, he goes and he complains to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam brings the man and the boy together. And he tells him, give the palm tree to your brother. And so the man refused. And perhaps that the man was angered that this young boy would complain to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because of this palm tree. So he was angered enough to refuse to give it. It's my house, my tree. And this kid is taking this case to Rasulullah. So when the man said, No, Ya Rasulullah, I'm not giving it to you. The tears came from the eyes of that material. It's no fault to speak for him. His father died. And Rasulullah cannot use his authority over this man because this is his Give the palm tree. To your brother, walakal jannah, and you will have al jannah. You will have paradise. He said, I don't want it. He was so mad. He said, I don't want it. And he got up. And so the Prophet ﷺ remained quiet. Because how else can you entice someone when they refuse paradise? What else can you say greater than that? So from the people that were at that gathering was the great companion Abu Dahdah radiallahu anhu. He came close to Rasulullah and said, Ya Rasulullah, if I purchase that tree back, can I get the same offer? Rasulullah gave me that tree. He said, yes. He had a meadow that belonged to him in Medina that everybody knew. And it had 500 palm trees and a well and a house built in. This was the meadow and the only possession of Abu Dahdah radiallahu anhu. But when he saw the equation in front of him, and he saw that the end result was a Jannah. So he says to the man who owns the palm tree, he says, do you know about my meadow? And the man's answer, he says, is there anyone in Medina who doesn't know your meadow? Meaning it was that popular and it was that great. He tells him, will you exchange this one palm tree of yours for my entire meadow? It is yours for that tree. I mean, well, it's like, you have your mind, you know, are you intoxicated? What's wrong with you? He asked the people, be a witness. And the man accepted in front of the Prophet ﷺ. And immediately Abu Dahdah tells the young boy that he can keep the palm tree. Then he turns immediately to the Prophet ﷺ. And he says, O Prophet of Allah, is there a palm tree in paradise for me right now in Al Jannah? Is there a palm tree for me right now? It's so close for him. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, كَمْ مِنْ عِذْقٍ رَدَاحٍ فِي الْجَنَّةِ لِأَبِ الدَّحْدَاحٍ قَمْ كَمْ مِنْ عِذْقٍ رَدَاحٍ فِي الْجَنَّةِ لِأَبِ الدَّحْدَاحٍ And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is saying, how many of the عِذْق, which is the, the part of the palm tree that bears the fruit itself, how many of these full parts are right now in Al Jannah for Abu Dahdah? The narrator says, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam didn't repeat it once, he didn't repeat it twice. He kept repeating it until Abu Dahdah got up and left that gathering. And then he goes where his wife and his children are. And he calls her. Qala ya Umar Dahdah. Outside, he did not even go in. He says, ya Umar Dahdah. And she says, labbaik. He says, come out of the meadow. She says, come out of the meadow. Why is that? He says, I have sold it for a palm tree in paradise. And no doubt, brothers and sisters, if you have a palm tree in paradise, then no doubt you will be in paradise as well. So when he tells her that, what does she say? Does she complain about where they're going to live? Does she complain about the provision or the money that they have lost? Does she even ask for the details of which palm tree and how did you exchange 500 for one? 
She says, Allahu Akbar. Rabih al bay'u ya Abu Dahdah. She said, Allahu Akbar. What a prosperous sale, ya Abu Dahdah. And then she began to take the children out of the meadow. And she began to search their pockets and she would take out all the dates that they had in their pockets and she would say, this is not for us. This is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So brothers and sisters, this is how the righteous before us felt that paradise was close. This is how they sacrificed anything in order to do something for the sake of Allah. But Abu Dahdah was not satisfied with the thing that he gave. In the bottom of Uhud, when Rasulullah was injured, when Uthbat ibn Abi Waqas threw rock on the face of Rasulullah broke his tooth, cut his lip open on the right side, and then Abdullah you know, Qami'ah, he came from behind and Rasulullah is injured from that rock on his face and he hit him so on his shoulder. And then Abdullah, in a shihab al zuhri he hit the head of Rasulullah and his head was open and the blood was gushing from the, from the head of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Every time Rasulullah could not get up and stand up. And every time that an army approached, Rasulullah would say to them, Who is my neighbor in Jannah? And stop his people. Until all of them were killed. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, after the battle was over, and he started turning and searching for the people who were killed. And who did he find in He found Abu Dahda killed. He kneeled down and he looked at him and he said, He said, Now, how many trees in Jannah for Abu Dahda? How many trees in Jannah for Abu Dahda? ولكم صدقت مودتي وبكم الود واستعي يا صحب مالي غيركم يا رفعتي دنيا ودين ولكم صدقت مودتي وبكم الود واستعي يا صحب مالي غيركم يا رفعتي دنيا ودي حتما سنذكر مجلسا جمع الشباب المخلصين وسنذكر